Mills Young here, part of Pig Dogs. UFC bet with me. I'm going to be going over this week's UFC card. Okay, headlined by Sean Brady taking on Gilbert Burns. And I'm going to be giving you guys my best picks, my best predictions. And stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a parlay to cash. Okay, now look, man. Let's go ahead and talk about it, man. Last week, no UFC, but the week before that, we had it, man, and we smashed the books, man. I always like to keep you guys updated with our results. We went 9-2 on our predictions, man. Can't go wrong with that, man. But we actually can't go wrong because, man, I need to get every single fight right on this card, man. Even if I miss one or two, I still don't feel like I did my due diligence on the whole card, man. But that's how it goes, man. You can't predict every single fight to win. But, hey, we cashed with some underdogs. And, you know, we, we brought some more money home. That's all you can ask for. Now, let's go ahead and get it started, man, because we got a big week of MMA to go over. We got Bellator going on this Saturday. I'm going to be uh, going down there to cover the event. But we got UFC to talk about. So, it's the UFC Belt With Me video. So, let's go ahead and get it started. And if you guys want to, um, you know, some more information on some of these fighters... Stay tuned. Got some more information for you, too. All right. First fight of the night. We're going to be looking at Zamatis Romarcus taking on Nathan Fletcher. Both these guys came from the Ultimate Fighter Series season. Uh, Nathan Fletcher's a minus 140 favorite. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's nothing really too much to give you guys a long prediction on why I like the pick, but I like Nathan Fletcher, man. I seen his uh do I seen his work before coming from the Cage Warriors scene um, and those uh, UK fighters over there. And I actually think he has more paths to victory in here, so I'm going to be playing him at that minus 140 price tag in here. That's the first fight of the night. Second fight of the night, we got Andre Petrosky taking on Dylan Butka. We got wrestler versus wrestler in this one, grappler versus grappler. Minus 260 for Petrosky is going up to like a minus 280. Dylan Butka in his last fight out, he got finished, okay? He came from the UFC Contender Series, and he didn't look impressive. Petrosky... He's been looking impressive. He just had like one or two bad showings in the UFC. And, you know, one of those showings was against Michelle Pierre, which he got knocked out. And the other showing was against another talented high wrestler, which he knocked, him most, knocked his own self out. In this one, man, I like Andre Petrosky to get it done in here. I like the over one and a half. I like round three to start. Um, if you guys are looking for a solid parlay piece, I like Andre Petrosky a lot in here. I actually got a two-leg parlay. Keep you guys in tune. All right, next fight taking place. Jacqueline Amaram taking on Vanessa Demopoulos. Man, Jacqueline Amaram, man. She's up to like, I want to say like a minus 300 on the books. Vanessa Demopoulos, man, as an underdog, she's been proving that she can go out there and do what she needs to to win in front of those judges' scorecards, man. It's like she knows how to win. She knows how to fight to win rounds. And sometimes that's what you need to do. But Jacqueline, she's vicious with jujitsu, and all it takes is one time to get you down to the ground. And if she does, you ain't getting up, you know? And if you do, you're probably going to give up your neck or your back and get subbed like that. So I actually think in here, man, um, Vanessa Demopoulos is a nice underdog to bet on. I could see if this goes, if this goes to the third round, I think Jacqueline's going to be gassed. She has a... She has a cardio issue, okay? Vanessa Demopoulos, man. I'm taking the dog in this one, man. Um, Yeah, I I'm heading to the window. If Jacqueline Amaron was like a minus 140, minus 160, you could make a better case maybe for her winning. But this 3-1 to one favorite on Vanessa Demopoulos, who's been winning and winning and winning, especially as an underdog, I got to take a shot on the underdog, man. So that's the first dog of the day. Give me Vanessa Demopoulos. And I think um she's going to win on the scorecards or even round three. Let's go ahead, man. Next fight taking place. We got Gabriel Santos taking on Yazi. Gabriel Santos, man, he's like 0-2 in the UFC. Exciting fighter, man. He's a minus 240 favorite in this one. Yazi coming from the Road to UFC uh, 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 series. That's where they try to get, you know, um, those Asian fighters to come on and see if they can get into the Road to the UFC. The competition ain't really that good over there. Um, compared to Gabriel Santos, he had a tough task coming into UFC. I mean, it gets no, it gets no harder than what he's been given. I mean, you know, uh, I think he had Leron Murphy. Then he had what David Onama, I want to say. Um, yeah. All right, man. So I've been going back and forth on this one, man. I think Yazi is gonna be able to get the takedowns on Gabriel Santos, man. I think he's gonna be able to push the pace a little bit, man. I like the dog in this one, man. I just think Gabriel Santos, man. He's an exciting fighter, but 
I think there's just flaws to his game to where if Yao Z just stays on the game plan, stays on the game plan, he could get that win. Give me the dog in this one, man. I'm, I'm taking the dog shot, man. Um, and like I said, I'm not doing none of it purposely. It just happens to be. Next fight taking place. I know I ain't on a dog on this one. Oops. Andre Lima taking on Felipe Dos Santos. Andre Lima, man, I like this guy, man. He's 2-0 in the UFC. Um, showing that, you know, um, his, his, his striking is pretty much clean. Um, his cardio is there. Um, and, you know, his fight IQ is there too as well. His opponent, Felipe Dos Santos, same thing, man. He, man, he's been, he's been on the hard scuffs of the UFC too, man. I mean, first fight in, I think he took on Manel Cape in that one. Um, you know, in this one, I like Lima a lot, man. I played him at a minus 130. He's up to a minus 180. Um, yeah, I, I like him a lot in that spot. I like round three to start too. Uh, fight probably goes the distance as well. Next fight taking place. Isaac Dargarian is taking on Brandon Morato. Isaac Dargarian is a minus 2,000 favorite. You guys want to get some money? Play Isaac Dargarian to win by KO. Mm -hmm. It's like plus 130. That's how you turn a minus 2,000 favorite into a plus money price tag. I was thinking about going with Isaac Dargarian by sub. But I think it's going to be easier to just stand on top of him. Ground and pound, ground and pound, ground and pound. Elbow, 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 ground and pound. So I think Isaac Dargarian wins. Uh, and I'm going to take him to win inside the distance by KO. Nice plus money price tag. Next fight taking place, man. We got a good one, man. Rong Zhu taking on Chris Padilla. All right, man. Rong Zhu is back in the UFC, man. Um, you know, he was in the UFC earlier on. Then he had to go up to some regional scenes and get some wins and come back. Now he's back. And guess what, folks? He's a minus two to one favorite. He's taking on Chris Padilla, who made his UFC debut against uh, 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 Long Top in his last fight out. And guess what, folks? I was on Chris Padilla in that one. Um, I bet him as an underdog. And, you know, we cashed and we won. And I'll be honest with you guys, I like Chris Padilla in this spot again. I think the odds makers are looking, uh, you know, looking at Rong Zhu and thinking uh, he's the right side. I think he's the wrong dude. I like Chris Padilla in this spot. Um, His wrestling, his grappling, his submission skills is top tier. His striking can improve on a little bit. But what you want is a smart fighter in there that's going to move to his advantages and expose his opponent's weaknesses. And that's Chris Taco Padilla. I like the dog in this one, man. And also, too, I got an interview out there with him. So if you guys want some more information on uh, Chris Padilla, check out my interview on YouTube. Just type it in YouTube. MMA Locker Room interviews Chris Taco Padilla if you guys want some more uh, information on him, man. And he's one of those guys to where he says he watched the prediction videos, you know. Um, he sets traps for his opponents in here. So... If this stays on the feet and goes 15 minutes, wrong Zhu is probably going to win a decision uh, if it stays with the value. But I think Chris Padilla is going to be able to make the in-fight adjustments round through round, listen to his coaches and corners, and get the job done for us. Next fight taking place, Trevor P taking on Yanel Oshmos. Man, it was like a pick em on this price tag all week. And then, now you got money coming in on Trevor P. <sighs> I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I'm going to give you the pick. I like Trevor Peak this week. I think that if he mixes in the takedowns, he's going to make this fight a lot easier. You know, Ashmos is a hard hitter. He has like a counter or two. You know, overhand, right hand, you know. Nice to go to the body sometimes. But that's about it. And if Trevor Peak can just, you know, isolate that overhand, right hand, use some of the takedowns, and don't be a wild man out there, I think he can get it done. You know, so I like Trevor Peak too. And I like it off the price tag price. All right. And I think the price is right. Next fight taking place. Matt Schnell taking on Cody Durden. Just came on short notice replacement, man. Matt Schnell was supposed to be taking on Alexander Costa. Costa got hurt. In comes Cody Durden. Cody Durden is coming off a loss. His last fight out, Um, you know, in the fight that he was just dominating. And then he got caught and got knocked out. I like Cody Durden in the spot. I think his striking improved. I think he's going to go out there and try to strike with Matt Snell. Everybody knows you can knock out Matt Snell. And Cody's Durden been looking for that knockout again since JP buys. If that doesn't work, the takedown is going to be there. The wrestling is going to be there. Don't know what exactly what the odds are at yet because the fight just got announced like two days ago. But I like Cody Durden in this spot, man. Next fight taking place, we got Steve Garcia taking on Kyle Nelson. Both these guys like to throw. Both these guys like to stand in the fire in the pocket and go. So you got Steve Garcia minus 180 favorite. And both these guys been putting up wins and they both got the same record, 16 and 5. 
And man, Cal Nelson's like on a three fight win streak. I wanna say Steve Garcia's on a three fight win streak. Cardio issues are gonna come into play in, 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 in this fight. It's just which way you wanna go, man. I'm going with Steve Garcia in this fight. I just think uh, he's gonna have the more volume and stuff um, to, to win this, even if it goes later on. Uh, but I think that, see, Kyle Nelson's always a live dog. Okay, so I'll, I'll just leave it like that. I know some people betting Kyle Nelson, and hey, I might just stay off it. I'm, I, yeah, I am staying off it because I can't predict nothing on this one, really. But if the pick, I'm going with Steve Garcia in this one. Next fight taking place, Natalia Silva taking on Jessica Andrade. Man, Natalia Silva's finally getting that step up now. Taking on Jessica and, and, uh, uh, Jessica, all right? Okay. Natalia Silva's a minus three, fa three to one favorite on the books. I think she gets it done. I think she's going to be able to skate out there. She's the faster fighter. She's the taller fighter. She's the more technical fighter. Um, the thing is this, and she's not going to give Jessica and Drives those little short hooks that she needs to, to get in and close the distance. She's not going to be able to grab her. She's not going to be able to clinch her up against the cage. I think Natalia Silva is going to be able to kick her when she wants, strike when she wants, move in and out of distance and range and make Jessica and Drives look 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 out of place a little bit, you know? So I like Natalia Silva to win. I think she wins in the third round or decision. If you guys want a better bet, just take her to win by third round or decision. But I got a two-leg parlay with Natalia Silva and Andre Petrosky. Meet me out the window and let's get paid. Main event time, man. I need everybody to smash that like button for me, man. Let me know exactly what you guys are betting on this week. And hey, who's your guys' football team? Because we got football kicking off, man. Atlanta Falcons on mine. Don't forget about my Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, man. Gilbert Burr's taking on Sean Brady. Sean Brady's the favorite in here. Minus 180 is where he opened up at. He's coming down to like a minus 170. Gilbert Burns is one of the guys to where, man, his fight resume is there. He's pretty much fought the who's who. Um, and when he needs to show up, he really does it. But when he surprises people is when he shows up. And that might be a spot in here, right? I don't think so. I like Sean Brady in this one, man. Uh, if the price tag was a little bit lower, I'll be all over it. But that minus 180 still gives me a little bit hesitancy. If it stays on the feet, Gilbert Burns is vicious. His striking is better than Brady. But Brady is overall a lot better than Gilbert Burns, if you ask me. 16-1. and one. He only has one loss, and that's to Bilal Muhammad. Some people want to, you know, say that he's a fraud or something like that because he lost to the champion. People, people, people. He lost to one person, and that's the champion. I'm not him. I'm going to say, man, I like Sean Brady in this spot. Played him last time against Kevin Gaslam. Got the quick sub. And this one, I think it goes over it, though. You know, I think it goes over two and a half. I think it could get to round three, too, um, as well. Uh, one of my uh, constituents gave out Sean Brady uh, to win by sub plus 800. Do what you want with it, man. But I'm getting to the window with Sean Brady to get his pay. All right, man. I went over the whole card for you guys, okay? Nice, short, and sweet so you guys can get you guys some money this week, okay? My two-leg parlay is going to be Natalia Silva and Andre Petrosky. My best bet of the card my, is going to be Andre Lima, my most confident one. Um, And then, no, no, my, my most confident one is Natalia Silva. But my best bet is going to be uh, Andre Lima. And then, um, yeah, meet me at the window and let's get paid. UFC bet with me series. MMA locker room here, part of Pick Dogs. If you can't roll with the Pick Dogs, stay on the porch.